and welcome back to the Reapers. So we've got a lovely mission for you today, Operation Chemical Warfare. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got a red chemical factory here and a red AWAX here. Both of them are target. The blues are starting off here at the blue IP with sound production from a buck launcher. Uh, basically have to destroy either the chemical factory or the AWACS. The criterion of destroying the chemical factory is to kill more than 50% of the buildings there. Then they get an RTB and as usual for Grim Reapers they get no respawns. The Red 4 are going to uh, have to protect the Red Airbase. They start from Mozdok which is the Red Airbase. Uh, they get one respawn each uh, to simulate a slightly larger force. Simple as that. So the Blues don't have to kill the AWACS and the Chem Factory. They can choose either or they can do both if they like. Okay. Now the difference is the internet has spoken and the internet wants Cap to um, fly on the red side for once. I don't particularly want to do this but uh, fine we'll give it a go. Um, and I'm going to fly my new F-18 because uh, I want to get it to work because it just never works for me. Uh, and that's it. So we've got that. So we've got Cap, Warren, Chaos, OB with Joker GCI for red. Um, GCI, that's Joker, you can only see within the red boundary. If you look at the wiggly line at the top of the mountains, that wiggly line, that's the GCI boundary. You can see blues once they're in there, but you can't see blues once they're outside, okay? Regards to the red scramble as to when they can take off, um, basically, when the blues have taken off and run and driven 30 miles towards us, you hit a trigger and that will say QRA can launch and that's when the QRAs can launch. So if the blues want to plan timings around that, okay? Uh, the blue team is not complete yet. They've got four more guys to come in, but the skeleton group at the moment is a group of hornets on hammer, one or more mirages on sword. New guys, if you can put yourself in ASAP, please. Sabre has got three jump jets. Rogue has got one times uh, vegan and trash. Uh, <sighs> Lastly, who's that? This uh, tail. Tail will be in an F5. Um, and that's really it. So we will see you on the ground. Don't know why I said on the ground. I meant in the air.
Okay, guys, they're up. We're just waiting for. Oh, Okay, Reds are just waiting now for the QRA, QRA launch warning. Good saturation awareness. Okay, guys, brakes on. Spool. Gate at full power in 3, 2, 1, go. Cap rotate. Yes, rotate. What's up, back to Joker? About 180, roughly. I know you can't see anyone yet. No, I can see them. Yeah, when the red gets alerted, they can see. He can see him. Right. Uh, try to set up some cap around Bezlan. Don't say that, give us a vector. Uh, 188. Or something on the RWR, guys. I don't know what that is. That would be our That would be our Sam. Okay, Roger. I'm just going to burn right through this tank and then go do mill power. Yeah, same here. Okay, boys, get off my wing, uh, spread out a little. Okay, cap dumping bag and I'm going to build power. I set up a, uh, a circular robot in about one zero miles approx. I think we need to push in guys, this is our first life, we should push in. Catch him as quick as we can. What's mill power in percent, guys, on this thing? Uh, 95%. Roger. Cap clean. Cap, remember you your Hickmas. Yeah, I got it. Uh, all enemies flanking to the northwest. So if you want to come straight 180 to try and intercept all of them, then you can try. Capsule on 145, Roger. Cap has target bearing 151. It's just gone. It was 70 miles. Yeah, that's Riga. Got it again. Uh, I think that would be a trailing F5 you saw, Cap. Harry's in the right hand orbit. Yeah, 
Ross has got a target bearing 150 at 66 miles. Yep, that's my guy. 66 miles. Dustin F5, Angels 12. Affirmative, he's over the mountain. Don't lock him yet, he's not a threat. Target is bearing 155 now. If Times 2 Hornets wants to go radar cold, just make it less obvious. Radar cold. Yeah, I see them, Obi. Yeah, we'll call out what we're pushing in as decoy, no factor. I'm going in a right hand turn. Just give me a bearing to him, Joker. Uh, not yet. Cap five zero miles for targets. Because these hires are uh, heading back towards the cap. Three times targets now at bearing one five zero forty five miles. Uh, you'll soon have two targets at Angels ten and above. Oh, these are still Angels eight if you can find them. Separation between Harriers and Hornets seventeen miles. So again, Harriers in left hand turn now heading back towards the Hornets. Can we catch him? Uh, neck. Yeah, that's pretty good. Heavy spike. So that's a pretty spike on OB. Roger. Uh, if you want to make your turn to 160. 160? That'd be 155 true. Cap's targets have faded. Yeah, copy. You've got decoy F5, decoy SU25. Uh, that is 16035 miles times one target angels 8 descending, 112,000 ascending. Roger, the terrain blocking. Chaos has one at 16035 miles just above the mountain. Uh, we've just. Okay, somebody's just dumped four snake eyes. Flying... Flying to the west. Uh, Chaos, if I can have you track back to around Bezlan just in case these guys decide to push, I'm going to need someone to just spam up cover. Cap has locked a target, two zero miles, one four zero. Target is SU-25, T Angels 12, flanking right. Roger, easy left. kill. Going towards Bezlin. All F-18s and all Harrys are flanking west. I think I know where they're trying to go. So right now you can dispatch this SG-25. Roger, I'm going to lose him on terrain in a second. Do you have any eyes on Viggins? Hey, firm, they're following the main group. Okay, he's advised. Hornet flight heading north. I need a dive red to him. Range 10 miles to the SU-25, flanking left. Caps to I'm faded. He's behind that hill to your 12 o'clock, now okay. 10 o'clock cap. If you see the valley, head through that valley. Passing the mountain range now. Flanking left. Zero nine zero for nine. Zero nine zero for nine. Keep tracking left. Got him. Just say 
Ten one arm run for him. Yeah, of course. What about Obi? He's just flying south. Yeah, Obi, head back north. Uh, Copy. Alright, I'm near Bez line, Joker. Copy. You, uh, yeah, you're gonna have a four ship of Hornets from UK. That's four or five miles south. No factor right now. Roger. Cap for three. Cap splash. Magic good cap. Kill, good kill. Magic cap picture. Cap. Turn one four zero for five. Target F five. Angel nine ascending. No, it's too dangerous at five miles. I'm getting out of here. Copy. Okay, uh, uh yeah, just head back north to Basilan. Yo, Joe. Obi will probably get intercepted or intercepted. So Watch out for Tail, he is dangerous at close and he's trying to get close to me. Actually, I actually have an idea. Obi, how proficient are you in the Hornet? Uh, fairly proficient. That's what you see, I guess. Uh, can you traverse right hand turn to 060? I want to see if they're going to keep tracking you. 060, Roger. I've got negative uh, nails. Get in the mud, get in the mud, get in that valley. Stay as low as possible. Joker, Barry, how do I? Turn right, valley right, valley right. Yeah, out of the valley. No, three o'clock, go into the valley to your three o'clock. Get as low as humanly possible. You're about to meet a whole load of hornets on your nose, 10 miles, 260. If you can try and get that contrail from there. How high? Within 10 miles. Uh, that contrail you see is the rear F-18. How high are they? Angels 2-7. Jesus Christ. Uh, just hold. All these F-18s are going to come turning back as soon as Jaeger dies. I'm getting lagged from our own SA-10. Cup spike. Yep. Yep, it's um, on cap, it's on cap, it's okay, I'm going to um, entertain that. Yeah, Chaos Burn 170 for 10, Angels 15. 170 for 10, Angels 15. Obi, if you can try and... Okay, Obi. Times 2, F-18s, 010 for 5, Angels 10. 010 for 5. What's their range from me? Oh, and at least I flew on blue. Okay, Chaos, uh, eight miles. Eight 
Just turn, you said. Splash one OB. Oh, good. Nice, nice. Time for one F-18 left. OB, zero seven zero for one five miles. Cap two missiles. Zero nine zero for one five miles. Zero nine. Intercept F-18 Hornet, Cold Angels 15. Chaos and Cap set up camp around Fesland once again. Cap rig on oh, zero cap, four zero. Cap. Burn. What did one zero one five for two six F five heading for AWACS. Are you sure it's two six? I've got a seventeen miles on my nose or something. That is tail. <laughs> on him, on him, on him. AWACS, how far is he from me? Break, I've break, got him, Chaos, I've got him. Break, break, one seven five OB for seven, Mirage. Just watch out for him. Caps got tail. I got eyes on the Mirage firing on Obi, but I'm out of range for it. Box three. Just, just hold off for now. Box three, Cap. Left, left. Ten o'clock. Copy. Chaos, you wanna assist him? There's an F-18 that's pushing on him. Give me a bearing to him. Uh, two zero zero for ten. Two zero zero for ten. I'll call F-18 shots. He's inbound. What's his altitude? Ten. Angels twelve. Chaos times two targets, time for Mirage. Chaos, Fox 3. Tails going up. Danger close, Mirage, Angels 13, 5 miles nose. Roger, he's behind the mountain. Passing mountain, left, right to left. Fox 3.
Missile down. Riddle's fire what? defensive. Chaos Hornet nose. Angels 15. Mirage on you 6. It's only got guns left. F-18 on you 6. Kill him first. Have 6 miles to tail. Right, Obi, you need to get over on ASAP. You've got many ground targets. I mean, ground attackers. Fox 2 on the Mirage. Missed. Oh, that was a splash. Right, uh, that's a missile. Okay, Chaos. At 320 for 17 times 3, how are you? Hey, exit the mountain currently. 320 for Joker, have I just shot that AWAX down or, uh, or tail? No, AWAX is good. Yay, tail's down. Right, Chaos, 330 for 20 miles times 3, how are you? Burn. In burner. Be advised, Hornet, 3 o'clock, 6 miles. Or would you rather me get a new jet, Joker? I'm pretty much... I'm getting a new yeah. jet. Alright. I think these biggins are going to be able to strike this chem compound. Distance... Obi, back over there. Get right to the chem compound, Obi. Copy. Taking off. Chaos fuel state. 3.1. These houses are pushing 500. They'll be ready. Just fire, get them. Just spam AMRAMs if you can. Fox 3. Joke affected me to power plant. Two on five, three.
Flash OB orbit target area. OB ray gun. Uh, spike. Yeah, buddy spike. Roger. Flash 3. No fuel. OB spike. Sorry, it's doing things. Uh, just spam the ammo off if you can, Chaos. No fuel, no electronics. Gonna get out of Okay. OB had uh, 260 for 15. You on the deck, Chaos? Just raise it out, fuel. The south flanking west. Harrier outbound to the south currently. How's your cap picture? Cap picture times one Harrier 250 for 18 miles times 2810 21027 miles times one F18 147 for 23 miles. What are going for the Harrier? Copy Harriers are inbound 230 for 12 OB 230. Cap Joy. Yeah, 240 OB. Copy. Harrier Angels 210 miles. Cap's got him. Missile, I don't know what that missile fire again. Arrow going evasive. Right, Cap, I need you to head 120 for 15 miles times 1 F18, Angels 1.5. Say Vector, say uh, bearing. 120. 120, Cap heading now. Harrier Devil Splash. OB, head 210 for 12 miles times 2810, Angels 3. Hot 210. Cap, F18, 110, 13 miles, Angels 1.5, hot. Looking. Okay. He's climbing Angels 2, 100, 10 miles. Having trouble with fucking radar. 2.5. Eight miles. How do I unlock something? He's fired defensive. OB, eight ends on your nose, five miles, two one zero, angels three. On your nose, low, low, low. Cup down, cup down. Passing underneath you now, OB. Circle right hand turn. Okay, left hand turn, left hand turn. You better make this tight, you've got a horn, it'll be inbound on you any second. Maintain right hand turn. This missile might actually hit you. Keep flying. Defeated. Another missile. Defend flare. Defeated. A10 onion nose. One mile. Low. Fire quick. Fire name nine quick. Oh. Miss. Okay, you've got a Hornet OB, priority, 140 up to 3. Copy. 2 o'clock, low. Yeah, man, I've got in front of that thing, for sure. Passing 3 o'clock beneath you. OB missile, flare, flare, no, he's gunning you, he's gunning you, he's gunning you. You're safe, you're safe. 
Trying to name my next Fleur defensive. Moving to picture. Reverse turn. Fleur. Damn. Okay, I'll shoot you get me some now. SA-10 suppressing them for the meantime. Yeah, I got one switch. I'm going to beat you. Got an unfortunately drop long. Dump center line on takeoff, you don't need it. Then we see 220. Gotcha. There is still Times 1 Hornet with two arm ramps and two A9 Nexus on, so just be advised. Get him on back to Joker if he's not already. Yeah, 220 okay, Chaos. Roger. The altitude and range from me. 810, he's firing currently, Mavericks. Uh, 220, range 4, 5 miles, Angels 2.5. Wait one. He's burning his arm. He's put his gear out, he's put his gear out. He's trying to do a bit of a pilot landing. If you fix that, we'll save him. Fix that, we'll get a push landing. How far am I from him? I don't know, he's about to touch down, he's about to die to trees. Oh my god, you're 20 miles away from him. Oh, he's touched down. What a middle. Oh, he's about to crash into some trees, though. Oh, no, he saved him. Let's see if I can find a little bastard. Oh, he just followed the road, he's just off the side. The road I just passed? Nope, just keep following the road that goes into that valley. So the one that's off to your left. Yeah, you see the valley up into your 10 o'clock? Yep. He's in that valley. How's oh, that sound? I wonder, does he think I'm beyond gun running him? <laughs> Six miles down this road. Chaos. Were these the the trees the first. extend out to the right? He's in the middle of that tree line of the next one. Passing now. He's right beneath you now. Oh, that's where the little bastard is. This ain't gonna be pretty riddle. Guns, guns, guns. Shack. And suicide. Nice. Okay, guys. Let's, uh... Let's do... Obi, how do you like the fact that I shot you down twice? Well, uh, well, I'm just the fact that he got an ace riddle. Okay, quiet please. Let's go through. I don't know about anyone else, but I have no idea what happened or who even did well. So uh, let's go through this step by step. Let's go through Hammer of uh, Blue Tooth. Did 
Did they actually call the target, by the way? I didn't actually look. Um, blue. Some no. people dropped their bombs. I don't know whether the target died. I didn't get a look myself. There was no bomb hits on the target, no. Right. It was very Just two, to two advise, players. no buildings were killed. Roger. There's some Mavericks hit them as well. Yeah, hit, Rick, um, Rick managed to get a couple of shots off in the A-team oh, before okay. he got hit. Yeah. So I'll, 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 I'll kind of give a overview of the, the whole thing, not just Hammer. But, um, I'll, do, sure. I'll do Hammer first. Uh, um, so, what is it? Go ahead. Right. Um, so with Hammer, we decided um, we were going to split up into twos, essentially do another kind of small chainsaw. And it was me and Riddle and then Jaeger and Kingston. And we were flying about Angels 2-5. We had some radar contacts came in. Um, me and Riddle got fired on by the S-300, so we turned cold. And waiting for the other two to come in behind us, I ended up getting taken out by Kingston. a friendly. Oh. <laughs> but I had uh, multiple missiles on me, so... Uh, when Buddy Spike was called, I was calling. I was getting missiles by, via F-18. So, uh, but by that time, I think it was too late. So, um, overall, uh, I think it was a disaster for Blue Four. Uh, yep. Some of the briefing briefing wasn't particularly followed, and um, it essentially split our forces in two, um, which allowed the enemy F-18s to be split in two and attack us over multiple fr multiple fronts, so it kind of led to disaster in the end. Always goes like that. Uh, always, always. Uh, uh, hang on, just, just do it logically and then we can rant at the end. Um, so that was Hammer. What about Buick? Who was that? Was that a Mirage? He's not here, I'm afraid. Uh, Roger. Yeah, Shango, Shango was in our group. In the 18th. Oh, okay, it's fine. Uh, Sabre, who was, are you and what did you get up to? I didn't see any of Sabre. We were with the Harriers. and uh, So basically, we took off and went east. Uh, we formed up and uh, then uh, we were going to loiter, but we were called back uh, west. So we went back west where the other guys were and then the cap started pushing forward. Uh, so we saw that and then started heading towards the target area. Um, I think most of the cap were gone by the time we got there. Uh, but we headed off and separated and went into the targets. Um, I managed to get one anti-radiation off and hit one radar. Uh, I'm not sure what the other guys did, but I'm sure they can speak for them. I um, I managed to get one sidearm off as well, I, I believe, uh, before uh, I succumbed to one of Chaos's missiles. I tried to find the target, and it was not where the circle on the map was drawn, so I got lost in the process of trying to find it, and it, while dodging S-300. Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. I completely forgot to give you a unit, didn't I? I usually put a blue unit so you know where the target is. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. That is a fuck-up. Because, uh, yeah, you're supposed to know exactly where it is, obviously. Oops. I was wondering why that wasn't destroyed, because any other, any other day that that would have a, bu have a bunch of vigans laid 16 bombs and it would be, it would be out. Okay, never mind. Shit happens. Uh, continue for the next group, please. Rogue, then. Yeah. The circle was my circle. Rough guess from the target picture. Can't do any better. Well, we got there. We got bombs away. I dropped long. I think so. I dropped short. Tough, we need to do more bombing. I've flown the wing lately. Uh, I got caught by the S300 on my escape. Both victims were killed by S300. Was it, um, yeah. was it firing people low down at the target? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it was a bit OP then. I, th I thought I put it far enough out that it wouldn't shoot you guys over the target, but obviously, uh, whatever reason. All right, fair enough. Um, is there any more blue groups? Yes, Hitman and Send. Old. Yeah, hit man, go ahead. Eight hands. All right. Uh, Bull, do you want to do it? Okay. Just um, dead. Go ahead. Well, so we uh, we loitered. We got to our loiter point. Heard the the call the all cast to go in. Uh, we rolled in. Made it almost all the way to the objective before the F-18s were hot on our tail. Um, I tried to distract him while Bull ran in for his run, but it didn't work out too well. I had two really good fighters in there, and they kept us busy. 
Uh, unfortunately, bull got popped. Um, it was a really good F-18 pilot. I don't know if y'all had a good GCI or if he had a good wingman, but he managed to keep his wingman alive. I was popping the IM-9s off at the F-18 that was on bull, and he was avoiding them and popping flares himself, managing to stay alive. So that was some well-done stuff there. I don't know who that was or how it was done, that was but that was, that was good stuff. Um, anyways, um, after bull went down, I managed to somehow stay alive long enough to blow myself up with my own bombs. Oh, got it. <laughs> It's not. It wasn't. Blue, old, it? wasn't blue day, blues day by the sounds of it. Um, and yeah. last group. Uh, yep, old slide. Uh, we had a miscommunication during the briefing. Partly that I was eating dinner at the same time, which meant mm -hmm. I started flying direct north, skylining, giving, uh, splitting up the F 18s I am sorry for that. Uh, but yeah, uh, otherwise that's up. We had kind of a bad flight because yeah, the Su twenty five pilots. They had never flown the SU-25 before, ah. uh, uh, which meant, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, you gave them aircraft they have never flown before. They just didn't even have a control set up. I had to help them set up the controls with the aircraft I have never flown. Uh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, yeah, one of our SU-25s, they, uh, they stalled shortly after takeoff because they couldn't raise their landing gear or their flaps. And the other one couldn't pop shaft, flare, or just fire at enemies when it got fired at. Uh, and yeah, uh, I got somehow through the shit. And yeah, I had caps. How many missiles did you fire at me? Ten. Yeah, exactly. Ten missiles <laughs> firing at me. Jesus! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> The deep missiles. <laughs> oh, missiles. Else is oh, the missiles the no, 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 this gives the perfect definition of spam ram! Uh, just a question. Uh, why did we have response for the F-18s? Because they had perfectly good GCI within a certain range, which meant they could par practically be like a micromanaging, like a chessboard, the F-18s, which meant, yeah, I, I didn't have a chance. Uh, the, uh, the, the ground strikers didn't have a chance. Plus, yeah, you could spam around the shit and just bail out. So yeah, I'm, ca uh, so, yeah, I'm claiming one F-18 kill. Well, let's put it this way. You have three, more than three times as many aircraft as us. Their Hornets has the same capability as ours. We you don't have, have a GCI. Oh, we, we don't you have, have a GCI. He That's said um, your Hornets. He never said you had GCI on S300. He's comparing aircraft. Yeah, I'll just. We had no. three people hey guys, compare hey guys, how many just, you had. I'll just explain no, um, the, the the briefing that we had. So. We were going to marshal up just um, south of the S300 range, and then the cap was going to move in and try and attract the enemy cap into one position so that we could engage them five versus four. Um, and then once we hopefully cleared the airspace, the A10, well, sorry, the uh, the cast would move in on the target, waiting for the F18s to return on their second respawn. Um, Whilst the cap's moving in, um, just after we're engaged, we're going to head our distraction force up the east of Beslan, up north towards the AWACS, so that when they do respawn, they would end up having to engage another force, so that would effectively split them in half, so we can only expect two to come towards us, or three to come towards us. Um, it should have worked out, but um, of course, half of our force split up and headed up towards the north from the east side of the mountains rather than heading back to the marshalling point after we took off so uh, hey, once they got past the powerful. enemy GCI line um, you guys were uh, well Joker was essentially able to, to see the multiple forces and split up your force which just made it easier for you on multiple fronts mm, yeah that's what did it for us it was the GCI just as soon as we killed someone he just said go 120 for 10 miles and fire and so we would just do it like a robot yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I was trying that. to, I was trying to negate that GCI in some mm -hmm. way. But if I could focus your forces in one place, then that kind of negates the GCI because we know where you're going to come from, and you know we we, we kind of know what to expect. Unless, of course, you you even if your forces slightly split up, then we still know that we're going to face four F-18s. So it's a bit more of a sure fight. Um, well, to be honest, you actually did do that. that. 
I did a pretty bad cock up. I, I set the team 40 miles away from the Harriers and then about 80 away from the Vigans. But luckily, they missed and the Hornets could catch up to the Harriers. That was lucky. Yeah, but I mean, the way it, the way it worked lucky. out, because, because it was all our forces were split in, in two, um, we didn't get to engage all of the enemy force at once. Roger, um, um, just as a joker, do you want to quickly do red team? I have no idea what we did. So give us just a, try and give us a geographical explanation of how that, what happened in that fight. Yeah, so uh, as soon as I was allowed to actually GCI, I saw decoy F5, F18 group in the middle, then at the ground flanking west. So as I do, I send someone to kill the decoy F5 and uh, SU25 just to get... The Hornets start pushing, so I send somebody to flank through a valley that they was wide in the opening, and it was at 27 anyway, so they couldn't see us, we could see them. So that was just easy kills for us. Uh, Kingston TK'd Rage as well, so that made it a bit easier. Mm. Obi, and then Obi just finished the three of you off. Well, two of you, Riddle survived. I beg your pardon. You, you I killed two Obi rams twice! I him. ruined his ace! He still got an ace. Doesn't matter because he got shot down. Yeah, Why? I mean, I you shot. Don't, you don't become an ace is not an ace unless you get five kills and survive. Yeah, you gotta land. On, you, what happened on the team kill, guys? Because it's caught IFF. I noticed the uh, the Hornet. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I showed it. Kingston was dogfighting with Rage for about five minutes, and then when he got in the valley, he fired two amrams, and then he killed. I and then he got killed by Ogre. Uh, I'm okay. looking at the tack view. Yeah, no, I thought I did too, and I was there. called um, Raygun a couple of times, and Rage didn't hear it, or didn't respond. I yeah, what it was, is he was being locked up by so many different things, he didn't realise I was yeah. one of them. I called, I, I couldn't called see him that properly. I was being spiked. Um, so, I mean, it's calling that I'm being spiked, I'm being spiked by F-18s, I'm being spiked by S-300s, so... And then he dipped over the brow of a hill, and just as I was about um, to break off my engagement, um, Obi shot me from behind. Hey. Right, I have to call it light. Have a good one. Cheers, Trash. Cheers, Trash. Uh, Cheers, Trash. Yeah, in addition, yeah. after we killed these Hornets, uh, he was 40 so miles offset from the Har- So, uh, he was still engaged with the Hornets while all Earthground was pushing. So, we was kind of screwed there by a minor cock-up from me. I'd like to point out is that Rage yeah. was boxed as a diamond as well. He was not IFF this friendly. We got in quite oh, far for F18. It takes a second, Kingston. I mean, we're yeah. in. Uh, we managed to get. Oh, I gave it a good few seconds because I before, asked. Uh, I shot his leg three times. Yeah, so, so it's so okay for me. Uh, uh, yeah, guys. Uh, just in general, regarding response, you. Uh, you should have it to like RTB and just land if you are still alive in the F-18. N not like just spam like te 10 spam rams, bail out, just jump in. When you have three times as many aircraft, that is fair. You, you are still having S-300 and... Uh, and, and, and so what was and your and excuse this too? S-300 is ineffective up to at least 30 miles. It, it halves its range just because of how broke. The SU-25 could have gone for the S-300 and that would have... The SU-25, one SU-25 was full flaps down, geared down, and he crashed yeah, into some exactly. poor old person's house. Another mm. one was flying out with his boards out for half the flight and it was just had no, it had no armament whatsoever. So we killed the SU-25 first kill tail, nothing they could do. Yeah, exactly, because yeah, we just put some guys who have never flown SC-25s in a module they owned, but yeah, not a module they have ever flown before. That's an important distinction we have to do in the future when we are asking people to just join, because yeah, do they own a module? Do you know how to fly Well, the problem, the problem with that is, Tail, that they were brought in after the briefings, after the mission was started. Uh, it, uh, they were brought in after um, after Red went down, so I mean the mission uh, was already up. We uh, had to tell, tell, uh, ask Cap if he could bring it uh, down and then put it back up and then get everybody back in and organize it again. We've been in over half an hour at least. Uh, Rage, uh, it's supposed to be a mirage. Uh, yes, one of them were meant to be a mirage. Yeah. Rage, uh, one thing, uh, I, I am like meaning, uh, <laughs> we just asked them to just jump into SU-25s they are of course compliant because yeah they are they are still like woohoo I can join a GR mission 
but yeah, they are not prepared. That's I understand, but they, I mean, it, it ultimately it was their responsibility to kind of say that, wasn't it? Of course, but yeah, at the same time, we have to make it a little bit clearer because uh, because yeah, we said like, hey, you, SU25, jump in, start it up, let's. Yeah, but they had the option not to. We were of we, course, we did ask them if of, they of course, if they but yeah, it, and when people say yeah, I'll jump in that, then you would assume yeah. that they can fly it. Of uh, hell, no of one course, had a gun. But, yeah. It, 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 yeah, it sounds to me like we were just screwed from the beginning. He had they, the most experienced piano. pilots. That I mean, these guys flown together forever. The front foots were it, basically it, just. They, they were a part of the distraction anyway. I mean, they weren't. Yeah, the I know, the target. but That's yeah. Let me it's say something this. for it's something for Red Air to waste their weapons on instead of going after the cast flight, which is what the whole. Yeah, that's a problem with your decoy. We had more than enough time to kill your decoys before your cap was even sixty well, miles away. The the problem with the decoy wasn't the fact of you know where it was going or whatnot. The, the problem with the decoy was the fact that they didn't follow the briefing. Was my mistake because I didn't hear. So yeah, I know I made it wrong, Rage. Don't just Good rage question, at Jennifer. me, but it's not I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just saying that was the problem that occurred. Yeah, the only issue yeah, here was timing. That's that was the only issue. Timing. That, yeah, so right. yeah, it, it was all it was all meant to be timed nicely so that it would it would work out. We would engage all of the enemy force in one place um, rather than having them split up. That way, it would even out our yeah even out our numbers and give us uh, some degree of advantage in numbers. And um, we could engage you away from the SA-10 on the south side. In theory, but we had already split up before that we picked up your You guys. would have had to come together to engage us, though. Because our force was in one place. Yes, but then I pose the question to you, why would we go to you? Well, then you just linger and, you know, you're waiting for our, our ground forces to pop up somewhere. You did go to us anyway, so I mean, it kind of proves my point, really, doesn't it? Joker, when you have your um, GCI, can you see everybody immediately, or is it only when you pass that red line? Yeah, but I have, I have limits. There's only certain places that I can see. If somebody goes past the boundary, I'm not allowed to say what. I don't know. What I mean is, is, can you see everybody all the time? You're just only allowed to report on it, or is it yeah. a case of yeah. we disappear over a certain point? Yeah, there's no reason. The fog of war wasn't on, I don't think so. I'd so, yeah, with, with, with the greatest of respects, at the end of the day, in all fairness to Joker, once you've seen something in F10, you're going to notice. So, it doesn't matter yeah. whether we have a tactic or not. Because even though Joker is not allowed to tell you, you can still make a plan in the background. Because you can see us all. That's not being disrespectful, that's just an observation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, fog of war doesn't always work like that, so we yeah. kind of have to do it that way. Well, that's why I asked, because I didn't know how it worked. So I'm pretty happy. I got three kills. I killed Obi twice and Cap one. Oh, no, middle, I, and you landed right, as my well. My question is, who was flying the Mirage? Because oh, he basically killed himself when he decided to fly over me when I have a Jehikmus and AIM-9 axe loaded. I think he was engaging someone else at the time. He was, he was on the tail of he Obi. He was on the with Obi. Time. Um, no, Obi died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but Riddle, he was Riddle. he's the one that killed Obi, and then you, no, you Riddle, got Riddle killed him. Riddle came in and got oh, him. Right. was uh, dodging missiles from the. Yeah, okay. well, I, I, threw a, I threw a. I uh, threw sure Riddle was merged in with Obi. Yeah, I threw a Jehemix aim nine X on it. <laughs> All right, you guys, you guys can continue to argue about yourselves. I love I've, I've got a rough idea <laughs> of what happened <laughs> now, and uh, I'll do a quick. Um, Debrief video as well, so I can we can kind of see what happened because I don't, still don't really understand. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, you'll you'll see some fun stuff with me. Oh, I'm yeah. in chaos too. Oh, yeah. Chaos, you're so lucky. When you were All right. chaos, when you were when you were fighting with the uh, Mirage, I was I flew right over you. I launched a missile at you. Let me sign off, Riddle, and then you can. <laughs> oh, then I then saw you can it on Black <laughs> Well done, oh everyone, God. for I'm doing that. So and mad I um, you. well done, Rage, for organizing. It was an organizing blues. I know it's a hell of a job to get that light in the air. It is. Um, yep, so um, good job. I'll try and make it look sexy. And um, I'll see you chaps later. Do some work. See you. Yeah. See you. See you. Bye. Bye.